Nebraska jury found two of the five men accused of killing Wayne Valier Jr. and leaving his body in the woods guilty. During the sentencing hearing following the trial, Valier's family and the two men convicted of murder got a chance to speak. News Welsh Tufts Dakota Sherrick was at the Iron County Courthouse earlier today and heard some of those testimonies firsthand. She joins us with more. Dakota. Rose, members of both Wayne Valier Jr.'s family and the defendant's family chose to speak at the sentencing hearing. One side saying they lost a loved one that can never be replaced, and the other blaming their family members' unforgivable actions on drug use. When my son went missing, it felt like um, a huge, huge cloud went over my whole family. At a sentencing hearing, Wayne Valier Sr. spoke about the devastation his family has felt ever since his son Wayne Valier Jr. was murdered. Where was my son? Valier's fiance spoke of a future she'd no longer have. Although I feel some sort of relief with the defendants being found guilty, I will never get to hold him or his hands again. Richard Allen and Joseph Lusher were both found guilty of murdering Valier and hiding his body in a remote wooded area in Iron County. Threw him off in the woods like he was nothing. But Valier's family wasn't the only one affected by the trial. This is the worst thing in my life. Alan's mother, Charlene Theobald, put some blame for her son's actions on drugs. Alan himself expressed remorse, speaking directly to Valier's family. Every day my heart's heavy, I feel ashamed. When Lucher was given an opportunity to speak, he simply said, quote, give me what I got coming. Ultimately, both Alan and Lucher were sentenced to life in prison. Now Valier's family looks to maintain the integrity they say their ancestors gave them. Try to live with that integrity in spite of all of this and be part of the solution to what's happened and move forward. Wayne Valier Sr. also said that they are thankful for the work of law enforcement, the judge, and the citizens of Iron County involved with this trial.